Do you know what happens to your blood sugar when you exercise? I have a continuous glucose monitor and let's find out. So there are two scenarios to test here. You may have heard that you should walk after eating. So let's test that. And also let's test going on a 26 kilometer bike ride. So I had some dal rice and then I went for a 10 minute walk. Let's take a look at the results. Not surprising, I got a 39 mg spike after having dal rice. But when we zoom in after eating, you'll see that the blood glucose started to increase. But then as soon as I started to walk, it flattened out. It's because my muscles are using up the glucose that was in the food already. So that's why the blood glucose doesn't increase. So this is how walking after eating can help reduce your blood glucose spike. I highly recommend you to take at least a 10 minute walk after every meal. It's a total game changer. Now the second scenario is when I do a heavy cardio, for example, a 26 kilometer bike ride, your body is a machine and it needs a lot of energy to sustain high levels of energy throughout my bike ride. So at that time, my blood glucose was high. But after I stopped biking, my blood glucose dropped and it remained low until I had lunch again. And this was the period when I was burning a lot of fat. So both low intensity cardio and high intensity cardio can help lower your blood glucose and help you burn fat.